All right, morning everyone. Just getting out here to the shop. We got a, we got a shop project today. We're gonna start rebuilding the Turbo Max. I don't know if we'll get it done today. It's put, it's right now it's about perfect temperature. It's like a, probably, I think it's supposed to be 44 out here. What we're gonna have to do is, uh, the shop's not big enough for us to unfold it inside. So we'll have to bring it out here in the front of the building, unfold it, take a gang off, roll it inside to, uh, change the blades out and stuff so kind of wanted to do this when it wasn't freezing like real real cold and next week it's supposed to be real real cold so i'm gonna try to get done what we can today you gonna be in the video uh, oh, are you in the i'm not very photogenic well, we got quite the crew in today's project uh couldn't get george to come help i asked him he said it sounded way too much like work call him around lunchtime so he might be here around lunchtime but <laughs> got big mike back in the house that's ben that's george's son so a little bit of George here, I guess. My dad, he's gonna be in and out today. Uh, got a, one of my nephews is in a basketball tournament, so he's got a. Actually, I think he's got to take him to the tournament. So my brother's still working, but uh, he's gonna be in and out. So for the most part, it's gonna be me, Ben, and Big Mike. What much of a cold start? to uh, put the turbo max back down on the ground we had it folded or un we had it on the ground we had to lift it up so we could get an impact under it to break them loose we're just going to break them loose and then we'll lower it back on the ground finish unbolting it once we do that we'll fold the wing up come in here with the forklift grab a gang take it inside and reassemble it we're gonna need two of them all right, we got uh, there's six gangs on the back and six gangs on the front. Right now, we're still trying to figure out the best system here. Right now, we're trying to put this on a pallet. If it doesn't crush it, maybe we'll keep doing that. This way, we can come out the forklift, grab it, and take them inside and do our work. You're good. Pick it up a little bit. Two and nine sixteenths. I don't know how this works. No, it's just late. Is it off already? Alright, hold on. Off! <laughs> Ta-da. I always see all those people snap their fingers and then it happens. Didn't work. Trey came for a basketball game. Here we go. Alright, so far the part or the uh, tools that we've been using uh, to get the gang down, that was an inch and an eighth, and then that's a two and nine sixteenth socket. The cap, the bolt through the cast one, that was a half inch. Alright, I tell Trey to go get a pallet to put the old parts on, he comes back with. You didn't say what that. size. Alright, you can see our, our system here. As we're taking the disc off, we're laying all the spacers and bearings out so we don't get anything backwards. As soon as we took the last disc off the shaft, put the next one, or colder, put the next one down, make sure we had it going the right direction. Here is a, here's an old one laid over a new one. As you can see, I mean, easily an inch or so off each side. They were definitely ready to be replaced. But that Turbo Max is gonna pull a heck of a lot harder now. Here we go. Got it. All right, since we uh, since some new discs are a lot taller than the old ones, we can't just slide under like we slid it out. So what we had to do is we had to fold up the wing and then put the uh, put the gang under it and then fold it down. 
Uh, the guys were spotting as I was folding it down, and it seems to be working pretty good right now. Alright, I think my side's good. Yeah, we're good. Good? Yeah, I'm in. Any Sorry. time stop yet? Yeah, I can get a bolt on it. Yeah. Yeah. Is this one of those lessons where you never send a boy to do a man's job? No, Trey. <laughs> That's why we didn't put you in here. <laughs> we're chucked. Alright, lift her up. Oh. Can I put this red thing back up in here? Hold on, Trevor. Got it. Alright, now we'll come in there and grab that uh, gang, take it inside. I think we're going to get some lunch before we start on this uh, second one. It's kind of bad, two of them before lunch. But we didn't start till 10, so. Good. <laughs> Alright, one thing we've done different on the second one is we used some zip ties to hold the bearings together. That was kind of a pain in the butt last time they kept falling apart. So hopefully that'll make it go on there a little bit easier and uh, we can get a third gang accomplished today. Might even get four. Alright, right now we've got to try to fold this down. We might have to adjust uh, where the pallet is. It's going to be a pain in the butt to move that pallet while under that thing. So, see, like right there, you can tell that's going to hit that disc. So, we use a forklift to slide that in a little bit more. Gotta go back a little bit more. Right now, we're strapping this, uh, this tooth basket up because it's uh, going to be in our way. Get a toy, I mean. One of the things we're doing while we're taking these off is we're checking the bearings, make sure they feel okay. We've got several new bearings. Uh, we don't have enough for the whole, whole Turbo Max, but especially on these outside ones, unless they're pretty bad, we're gonna leave them. We're definitely gonna replace the ones on the inside of the disc. But did have one bad bearing on this one, the first one so far. Well, Dad just got back from uh, the ball game. Someone, uh, I mentioned before, we we're gonna take a wheel motor off this. I guess I thought it was a different one, but it's that one. Um, Someone asked how we uh, jack the sprayer up. That's our, that's the apparatus we invented for it. So I'll uh, try to catch some footage of it while we're working on the turbo. Max is going to take his wheel motor off. Up, son, pull up. Turns out it's a heck of a lot easier to come in from the front with the forklift. Good news, we're quarter of the way done. I hold the wrench and hold it on the nut. Not yeah, the not just stand there. <laughs> He's just a boy. Need a wrench on it. Yeah, I'll hold that till you get the back one. You gotta use the facilities at this place. Hey Trey, come here and hold this. Hold on. Yeah, he'll get dirty. I think Mike gonna break. 
We're all taking a break, making Trey hold the gang yep. up there. Ben's over here on break. Trey's been on break all day, so I'm just going to leave him there for a minute. Ben's over here getting there to take his wheel motor off. Trey, come stick your finger in this hole. Well, uh, we've given up on the Turbo Max for now. Dad's trying to get this wheel motor off here tonight. He's going to take it to get rebuilt, I believe, tomorrow. So, try to get that knocked out, and then we'll probably have to finish the Turbo Max whenever it's a little warmer. Hey, Cody, get me that blue chug right there. <laughs> well, this. <laughs> Cody, did you understand anything Dad's been saying here? Uh, about three quarters of it, if that. How'd it go? Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> Look at oh. it. Burp, burp. <laughs> For what? Bristol. The Bristol race, August. God. Do a fan meet and greet. Son of a buck. Oh, it's a different end and it just ain't the right one. Shoot. Guys, that how it works? See? I do an instructional video, Dad. I get nothing. Struggle. At Milwaukee Corporate, we like to try out free tools. We've got to take this whole assembly right here off of it. How long has this thing leaked, Dad? Really, ever since I had it. They said it got worse, but I didn't fix it. Well, here it is, and they ain't gonna fix it because this guy went out of business. So, to me. Yeah, we had this sprayer before Case IH or CNH or whatever owned Miller, and uh, the dealer we bought it off of said he'd fix this thing, and that was five years ago. Shouldn't be issue. The lines go down in the top of the tank, so hopefully it. Much. Well, I'm gonna put the challenger up for uh, like I said, we're not gonna put any more blades on. We're gonna try to get that sprayer plant or sprayer wheel motor off of there. I was hoping to get a little bit more done, but like I said, we didn't really get a start till about 10. By the time we get everything ready, it goes about 10 30 or so. So we at least got a little over a third of it done. So just have to knock the rest of it out when we get a chance. It's definitely one of my least favorite jobs we've done, but it's not that bad when you got uh guys helping you like working with so, I don't know it was a fun time but it wasn't real fun what made Mike as Cody would say sitting around watching NASCAR would have been a lot funner but it could have been a lot worse I was like, if you haven't gathered Cody and Ben are uh, pretty big NASCAR fans that's why we can't work on this tomorrow I'll never get away from the TV okay hard to believe them things get that corroded with all that oil on them right. I know, but shit, they're great. Well, pretty well got the uh, wheel motor ready to come off there. We've got two bolts on it. First, we got to get rid of uh, that tire. We're going to throw it onto a pallet and then uh, get a smaller pallet that we can hold up to that wheel motor and then bolt it. Take one. That's why you always watch what you're doing around tires. Don't want to be where that thing's going to fall. She's going. Pull it out. Yeah. I think it might straddle that. We always think there. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. So we still got some work to do to the Turbo Max, but we got that, uh, got something done, got that wheel motor off there, get it rebuilt, put back on there, get the sprayer out of the shop. Um, still got a few planters to do also, so hopefully we can uh, get that done pretty soon. But like I said, the planters, the Turbo Max, we need some uh, warmer weather. We can't fit any of those in our shop and do what we have to do. So, oh well. Um, but thanks for watching. Like I said, this is, uh, I'm not saying the way we're do, uh, going about this is uh, the right way. This is just how we're doing it. 
so I don't want this to be misconstrued as a instructional video because this is this is not so I know uh, when we did the Challenger video where we widened the steering out on it someone emailed me a list of safety violations so just putting it out there this is not an instructional video so yeah but thanks for watching if you like what you've seen follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Brian's Farm Videos and Facebook at Brown Farms and we'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.